All right, then uh, welcome back, everyone. So let's solve this question. Goals of victory. Let me read out the question for you. There are n teams in a football tournament. Uh, each pair of teams match up once. After every match, uh, this guy PC because I'm definitely gonna pronounce his name wrong. So I'm just gonna call him PC. Receives two integers as the result of the match. The number of goals the two teams scored during the match. So basically, this guy uh, will receive the number of goals team A and team J scored. Because a match will be headed in two teams, right? Okay. The efficiency of a team is equal to total number of goals the team scores in each of its matches. So, probably there's this thing, efficiency. This is defined uh, over the span of entire tournament. That we can see. Uh, efficiency of a team is equal to total number of goals is this team scores in each of its matches minus the total number of goals scored by the opponents in each of its matches. So, basically, uh, efficiency of a team is defined by number of goals scored by it minus number of goals scored against it. Make sense? Yeah, so after the tournament ends, uh, this there's one more guy, this PD, counts the efficiency of every team. Turns out you forgot about the efficiency of one of the teams. Given the efficiency of N-1 teams, what is the efficiency of missing team? Okay, so this guy was given a job to find out the efficiency of every team, but uh, he forgot to find out the efficiency of one of the teams. Right, so what is the efficiency of missing team? Basically, that's what you have to find. So what is input? First line will be test case, fine. And uh, again, after in, for every test case, first line single integer n, the number of teams. The second line contains n minus one integers, a one, a two, a three, so on, a n minus one. The efficiency of n minus one teams. And so there's one example given here. So for this, so basically there are four teams competing. The four teams competing. So you know anyway, four teams are competing, and I guess they are staying. Uh, every team matches up exactly once. So maybe there will be four C two combinations. So what is four C two? Six, right? Four into three by two. Yeah. So it's six combinations. So efficiency of three teams were given, and they have shown like this one possible combination. And so basically, let's see uh, how one goes about calculating the efficiency, so that you can get an idea. So there, is, firstly, they say that efficiency can be uniquely determined, right? They told that uh, efficiency of missing team can be uniquely determined. We'll come back to that, but uh, let's see first how are you, how one goes about solving this. So basically, what they have done is. They give an example. They are given efficiency of three teams, and this is the example scenario. Okay. So, if you want to calculate the efficiency of team one, so right now let's just focus on how to calculate the efficiency. Right. Efficiency of team one is actually number of goals scored by it. That is one three three one plus three plus three minus number of goals scored against it. Two zero two two plus zero two. Right. Similarly for team two, what are the number of goals uh, scored uh, uh, scored by it? It's actually one one and here two right because it scored uh, two goals against that. Team one, the two plus one plus one, and number of goals scored against it. That is a uh, four here, three here, and one here, right? Fine. So I think you got how efficiency is calculated. Now let's see how can we solve this. Since again, it's an iterated question, right? So I have been telling this again and again. Just look at the constraints, and you will get an idea. Anyway, uh, just uh, let's try to look at this question in the uh, order light. All right. So what the question is saying is basically, there are n teams. There are n teams competing. Okay. So let's just take the example of what they have given. So first example, there are four teams competing, and uh, efficiency of three teams is given. So basically, efficiency of first team is given, efficiency of second team is given, efficiency of third team is given, and uh, fourth team's efficiency is not given, and that we have to find find out basically. So events efficiency is actually three. A2's efficiency is actually minus 4 and A3's efficiency is 5. Okay, so we are supposed to find out this A4 and they have said that this A4 can be defined uniquely. So let's see uh, how can you go about thinking about this question. So again, uh, as I told, there will be some trick in the constraints. So let's uh, for now focus on this definition of uh, efficiency. Like my straight away, I would go about thinking like I have to calculate the efficiency, right? So let's uh, Focus our attention how the efficiency of a team is calculated. So what is it? It is actually equal to total number of goals team scores in each of its matches minus total number of goals scored by the opponent in each of its matches. Right? So this is the definition of efficiency. I can see one thing here. So let's say uh, I don't know, like uh, uh, let's say so one thing is for sure, right? If there are n teams, all in all there will be n C two matches. Okay, so this like for like this. Start thinking out what comes to your mind. The first thing is there will be NC2 matches. Fine. What other thing comes to your mind? The efficiency definition. Look at the efficiency definition. 
total number of goals scored by this team minus total number of goals scored by opponent right so let's say uh, team 1 scores a goal against team 2 so what will happen like how will the efficiency of a1 and a2 be affected if team 1 scores a goal let's say team 1 scores a goal against team 2 so how will the efficiency affected to a1 we will add basically 1 right one will be added to a1 into a2 or it will be subtracted right let's say a2 scored a goal basically this t2 a2 scored a goal against some team maybe let's say e4 so what will happen one will be added to a2's efficiency and one will be subtracted from basically t4's efficiency so what is happening here what is happening here whenever a team scores a goal one point is added to its efficiency and one point is subtracted from some other's efficiency so here me out very carefully let's say i'm just writing out efficiencies like this uh we have a four teams right so let us take example of four teams a1 a2 a1 a2 a3 a4 okay so if team 1 wins one will be added to efficiency of team 1 and let's say team 3 lost that minus 1 is uh, added there if let's say team 2 wins against team 4 so one is added minus 1 is subtracted right similarly let's say team 3 won against team 1 so one is added one is subtracted let's say uh, a2 won against a3 one is added one is subtracted let's say a4 won against a3 one is added one is subtracted you are seeing what is happening here right what is happening Uh, if i just uh, sum all this up i should get zero right because if one is added to some other efficiency one is subtracted from others so this simplifies our equation summation of ai i equals to 1 to n is basically zero so in our case we have only four four of them right so basically a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 is equals to 0 then what will be a4 a4 is basically an right that that guy forgot to calculate it's actually minus of a1 plus a2 so i'm oh, sorry just here is right this a3 so that's an answer so what is the answer just find out the sum of all the given frequencies so basically our answer is our answer let me just write down here So our answer we have we want to actually find out the efficiency of the nth team is actually minus of summation of ai and i goes around one to n minus we are given this right we already have this we already have this we can just do it simple so let me do it uh, very quickly uh, all right so we we'll just quickly code it up so what is the first thing first thing is basically the input n the number of teams. then uh, we will be given the efficiency of n minus 1 team so we need an area of n minus 1 so we will go through n minus 1 and take the input see in area of no uh, area of i j area of i fine so then what is the answer basically our answer is simply uh, we have to sum up all of them our answer is minus of summation of a1 till an minus 1 so i'll just find out the sum or uh, Can I do it in this? Can I use STL here? Yeah, I can use STL. So let me just find sum using this accumulate function. If you don't know what accumulate does, is uh, it basically sums up. It, it can basically do any operation to all the elements of an array. So here we just want to sum, right? So the by default operation is a sum. It's going to sum all the elements, all the array elements, and the starting value taken is zero. So it starts from zero. The initial value is zero, and then uh, it just applies addition to all the array elements. What is the answer? An answer is. Minus of sum. No, no. Let me just uh, quickly run if it works correctly. J wasn't it running? J. Am I having any error? Okay. Minus four is printed, and then okay, I'm not taking the test case input. I. Yeah, minus four into sixty-five. Okay. Minus four into sixty-five. That was the expected solution. So let me just quickly submit it, and then let's see. Good. I hope you're doing accepted. Yeah. So that was that. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.